Hello internet and welcome back to another video on the EJ Black YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about a book that I've been putting off for a long time for one reason or another. One of the reasons is that I feel that the YouTube channels Crimson Rogue and Capo Kaiju both made very good videos discussing this book I'm about to discuss. However, their videos are also very long and go through each point individually and so I kind of want to make a summary of the whole book and discuss why it's an absolute shit show. The book in question is This Is Why I Hate You by Onision. If you don't know who Onision is, I suggest watching the Right Opinion videos and the Jay Aubrey video I link. I would also recommend watching the aforementioned Crimson Rogue and Capri Kaiju videos. This book is one of the few books I've read in my life that I've genuinely regretted reading. After watching the videos, I was curious as to how bad it is, but I didn't realise just how bad it could get. My first critique is that Onision should never write fiction. While there are sections of fiction in the book, and the book seems to follow a bit of a fictional plot, it seems a lot like an Onision manifesto, in the sense that he will discuss topics that the character, named Arthur, shouldn't have as much resentment for as Onision does. So when he rants about marriage and alcohol, it doesn't sound like Arthur, the 11 year old character ranting, it sounds like Onision, the 30 year old man ranting about it. The book seems so disjointed that sometimes you forget that it's even supposed to be a fictional book because he just goes on ranting for so long and you think, when is this going to end? This, along with the poor transitions, makes the books feel so disjointed. There's no connections or nothing in common between the paragraphs. He'll just jump from topic to topic to topic and deciding whenever he wants to go back to the fictional account versus whatever his rants are without a link even between the rants or the fictional plot threads. Some examples of this are the lines, speaking of which, let's talk about that. Each sentence feels so out of context that you could genuinely rip out pages of his other two books and place them in this book and you wouldn't be able to tell. Another critique of this is how Onision seems like an edgy 12 year old while writing this book. For example, there's a quote in the book, I am an alpha and will be till the day I die. Thank you, Onision. We needed to hear that one. To be clear, at the beginning of the book, when his character is 11 years old, he ages throughout the book, he should be writing as a teenager or a preteen. But it doesn't come off as him writing as Arthur. It comes off as Onision writing as an edgy 12-year-old because he doesn't write well enough for it to seem like that's a perspective of Arthur. Also, when Arthur rants about things that an older person would rant about, it doesn't seem like that's Arthur's character as well. Is he supposed to seem older, or is he supposed to seem more like a teenager? A third critique is Onision seeming to think that he's very smart and discussing concepts that he doesn't understand at all. At one point, he starts discussing free will and how he could choose to not be gay. And while there is a very interesting discussion to have about if free will is real, how we can know it's real, and what it means to have free will, Onision doesn't discuss it at all, doesn't discuss the nuances, and just has a very surface level understanding of this very deep and complex concept. Onision also really doesn't know how to spell. If you're going to write a book, I suggest you learn how to spell or at least learn how to turn on spell check, because it doesn't help the disjointed nature of a book that every third word is spelled incorrectly, there's mistakes in capitalization and punctuation, etc, etc. The main character seems like a massive self-insert for Onision himself, which makes it even more creepy when he writes himself as a big strong hero that saves the day. Trigger warning here. In this book, he writes in very serious situations such as sexual assault and school shooting and, in the case of a sexual assault, writes himself as a hero that saves the day and saves the girls. It's written in a very insensitive manner and seems to just be a way to move the plot forward and he doesn't write these events with the sensitivity that they deserve. It comes off as very lazy and he does not at all treat these subjects with the tact that they deserve. In conclusion, fuck Onision. I know this is my second book review, but I'm ready to give this book a genuine 0%. I do not think there is a shell of anything in this book, and I genuinely don't know if Onision can progress. He can't come up with a good plot, he can't write, he can't create a story, he can't create characters, he can't do anything that a book needs to engage its audience. And for that reason, this gets a big 0%. If you want to see more book reviews that I can't be bothered making full videos on, please follow my Goodreads account. I, I make books. I mean, I read them. I read the books. I don't make the books. I just read them.